Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Grow Star brand. This is their LED grow light. This is the latest QB1000 style, two by two foot sunlight full spectrum LED grow lamp, high PPFD plant grow light with infrared grow lamp technology for indoor hydroponic greenhouse seedling vegetation flowering. Now this is unique as you can tell. We're gonna show all the features of this. this. is the first time I've seen one in this format. And I've uh, purchased probably about 15 grow lights and tested them. So this is about 11.8 uh, inches wide by about 11.8 or 12 inches wide. Um, nice size. And I plugged this in, it's very bright. Um, this is full spectrum grow light contains warm white light, 3000 K LEDs, and that's gonna help bloom bigger and more vivid plants. It has a daylight 5000 K LEDs interspersed in there to accelerate growth rate and reduce the growth cycle of your plants. It has interming intermingled uh, red light, 660 nanometer LEDs to produce larger leaves and enhance photosynthesis. And then it has your infrared light that your eye can't see, the 730 nanometer, to produce higher yields, uh, which is which is most effective spectral ratio that plants mainly absorb and provide similar to sunlight. Uh, so it gives nice uniform sunlight. Uh, this is high efficiency. We're gonna measure the power of this. This consumes uh, 110 watts and it has a true output of uh, with 222 LEDs. And this should replace the traditional 1000 watt high pressure sodium or metal, metal halide bulbs. So it's using a fraction of the energy but producing the light output that would grow your plants. And we're going to test that with some seedlings. The efficacy is uh, 2.7 micromoles per joules. The life expectancy of these 222 SMD LEDs is 50,000 hours, which is like a lifetime. This LED light increases yield while decreasing electricity causes. We're gonna really test all this. It has a higher PPFD value. This L-QB1 grow lights diodes offer a high efficacy rating uh, per joule of 2.7 micromoles per joule at 110 volts AC. And light output PPFD value of 274.85 micromoles per square meter. Um, and what that means for you as a consumer is that this is efficient. It's going to take minimal energy from your wall current. It's going to cost you very little to run this thing 24-7. That's what you want. And it doesn't generate heat. And we're going to be testing the heat of this also. Now, speaking about heat, this does not have any fans, so it doesn't have any noise. So you have this in a bedroom or where you work, you're not going to hear any noise. And we're going to test the thermal load of this to see how well it does Cool, this is a three millimeter solid aluminum. And by the way, this is waterproof. It has a silicone coating on the connections and it makes this thing water resistant, which is nice. Never seen that before. So no fan, we're gonna check the heat dissipation, uh, which is gonna give the service life of those LEDs. So this uh, process that they're doing of this board and with the gluing of the on chips um, we'll make the lifespan of these LEDs last 50,000. And this is IP65 waterproof, which is nice. Uh, so you don't have to worry about the humid planting environment that will damage your lamp. Now this company provides a plug and play experience, no installation, product quality, friendly customer service is a top priority. This grow light exclusive product it has them patented and they do offer a three-year warranty and professional guidance to help you and your plants grow better. Just contact them on Amazon and they'll respond within 24 hours. So let's take a look at what you get. You have the light itself with a nice long cord and a US plug on there with a ground. It's important to put, use that ground. And then we have the stainless steel connecting cables for them. They're going to go into the corners and then this whole thing allows you to lift the light up 
And if you've ever used one of these before, these are really, really nice. I'm glad they include this. You attach this to your ceiling or your rafter or your shelf, and then you attach this to this piece I just showed, and it allows you to raise and lower your light depending on the growth cycle. When you're first starting off with ceilings, you want to have it pretty close and you want to back it away as the plant grows. And this works really well. There's a little latch right there and you lift that latch up and that allows this thing to open and move. And then when you close that latch there, the uh, latch locks it in place and it's real simple. It's a little plastic latch right there. So that's how that works and that's included. Very handy. So let's take a look at the profile of this because it is totally different than other ones that I've seen on the market. So first thing you notice is there's no wires exposed. So they have this waterproof cap on there. And again, I mentioned it has this uh, siliconized material on there. Let's take a look at the back of this. And you can see how they've constructed this. Here's the electronic box. Yeah, it's all sealed. It looks like it has gaskets on there. It tells you on the power plug, the hot, the neutral, and the ground, it tells you right there, and the output plus and minus, and it's all sealed nicely. And you'll notice that it has aluminum heat sinking on there on both sides to let heat dissipate. So you notice there is no fans here, and look, how, look at the thickness of that aluminum. That is very, very thick. So we're going to test this out and we're going to see how it dissipates heat. First, we're going to measure the power of this, the electrical power that this consumes. Okay, so I have it plugged in. You can see how bright it is right there. I don't want to point it into the camera because it'll destroy the sensor of the camera. But you can see it's very bright. And here is a kilowatt meter. And you can see I'm on watts and it's only drawing 100, 100, 102 watts from my AC mains. So that's telling you that it's very efficient because it's producing the equivalent of a thousand watts of a, of a uh, halogen uh, bulb. So that's very important. It shows you how efficient that this is. Now they don't rate this in lumens, but I have a light meter right here that measures lux. And I'm one foot away with the sensor. And if I center this sensor on the light, it's so bright. I get 47, 4800 lux. I mean, this thing is extremely bright. It's 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 illuminating my whole basement. And uh, you're typically going to use it in a three by three area, and they have a chart on the listing that shows you the actual output on the three by three. But this thing is so bright. So I have the light running for about 20 minutes, and I'm going to do a little temperature testing here. So I have a thermal gun that I'm going to put on the LEDs, point it to the LEDs right here. And it's showing 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Camera's not going to be able to pick that up because it's, uh, it's being overexposed from the light. It's showing 131 degrees on the front. Now let's try it on the back. Put it on the back right here. And it's showing 110 degrees on the back side. 130 on the front, 110 on the back. And what that's doing, it's dissipating the heat. The, the bulk of the heat, maybe 30, 40% more, is coming out of the front. And the remainder is removing, coming out of the back of the unit itself. And that's a good thing. What it's doing, it's cooling down those LEDs so that the thing, this light will run cool. And the heat sink itself, which is on the, the uh, controller, is running totally cool. So the heat is coming off this panel from the front and also from the back. And that's what's keeping these things cool, even though this is extremely bright. I'm going to put my hand on here and I feel just warmth, but it's not burning my hand. That's what's incredible about these LED lights. I wanted to show you how simple it is to hook it up to the holders or the cables. You just loop them around the holes, just like that, all four of them, and bring them to this piece right here. And then this allows you to lift the light up, make sure that they're all on there correctly, just like that. 
Then you could lift the light up and then use this piece to clip onto here and then adjust the height as your plant is growing from seedling to full growth. Just that simple. So what's my overall opinion after testing the Grow Star brand LED grow light, their latest QB1000. I like this light. It's very different than other lights. It's got a very thin profile. The cooling is nice, totally quiet. The waterproof construction is really nice. It includes the adjustable cable and of course the cables to mount this thing properly. Profile is very unique. As I demonstrated, it's very bright and it grew my seedlings beautifully. So I'm looking forward to growing tomatoes and basil and things like that with this light. So I'm going to give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.